Uh, well, after Lakshadweep, I was there last year, and I said it's a beautiful place. And last month I was in Greece, I was in Rhodes Island, and I found that, uh, in, in fact, Lakshadweep was much better than Switzerland and uh, these Rhodes Islands where uh, the last month only I was there. So you've got to go and see. And some of these photographs that he showed me took me back once again to the beautiful islands that were there. So now I'd like to talk about water. Till now, and since morning till now, you were all hearing about various technologies, various other things. As far as I'm concerned, I basically like to dream and I like to see as to what are the type of problems that we have got and try to conceive as to some type of particular projects that can come up and how those particular projects can be uh, can be executed by getting all the stakeholders to one particular platform. So how do we do that and what I'm doing? I'm basically going to be talking about that. So as far as I'm concerned, I had the uh, Gurgaon rejuvenation plan of the DLF Limited. And for us, what we say is there are a large number of global challenges. The global challenges that we have got are in terms of health, in terms of waste, in terms of water. I think that we are all very much well aware of. But when we look at the key challenges in Gurgaon, we have got these challenges in Gurgaon also. So all those challenges were spoken about this particular morning as well. And when it comes as far as water is concerned, we only know that there's a huge problem of water problems in Gurgaon. And this is we are drawing the water from the groundwater. The aquifers are going down. And so how we are able to make use of the water and how we are able to see that we are able to stop this groundwater degradation and at the same time make this water is one of the key challenges that we've got. Or this is the risk which Gurgaon is facing. But the key question is the risk that we are facing. Can this risk be turned into opportunities? And if you are looking into opportunities, and that is way, when I talk in terms of opportunities, I'm talking in terms, how do we turn them into social, physical, and I talk, uh, into the environmental opportunities, and then we are able to create some type of an assets out here. So we already spoke about all these key learnings since morning that you talked about when we talk in terms of a smart city, all these things you already know. And now what we are talking here is in terms of fresh water, in terms of waste management, health and education. So I think uh, you all know as far as this was also uh, spoken about sustainability and smart city and how ICT can combine together. So for me, what do we do? As far as we are concerned in the DLF, we basically play a key, key role in sensitizing various stakeholders to come together and to identify as to what are the type of problems that we have as far as Gurgaon is concerned. Then we try to lay down certain parameters for a smart city as to what those basic minimum standards for that particular thing, that resource that we are looking in terms of the natural resource management, what should be those basic parameters. Then we try to go in for certain uh, focused approach by various recommendation and we try to execute this through volunteering bodies and through an outsourcing model. So what we do is we basically try to create awareness on the roles and responsibilities of the government and other stakeholders. We launch through various media campaigns, awareness policies, drive to medias and seminars, and then we try to focus all the stakeholders for a common vision. These are something, the communication techniques that we are using, digital influencers, advertising, public relation, these are all the things that we are doing. And most of the projects, one of the projects that I'll be talking to you about, Najafargar Basin, because we require a huge amount of funding as well. So the financial, this thing comes with partnership with the government, and whereas the foundation, the DLF foundation acts as a catalyst, we also uh, collaborate with MCG and Huda, and we are also trying to collaborate with all the corporates in Gurgaon so that they can all come together, we can all pull in our resources and can form one, uh, one consortium. So these are the four things on which we are working on. So uh, some of the initiatives that we have taken, we have already uh, put air uh, quality monitors in Gurgaon, we have already put four of them, now we are in the process of putting 10 more monitors and we will be now monitoring as far as the pollution levels are concerned, we will be coming with them. In healthcare, we have already put the state of the art mobile wellness unit has been flagged off. It was flagged off by the Chief Minister of Haryana, where we are uh, not looking only after the primary healthcare, but we are looking at the top end healthcare. And in water, we have uh, gone for one of the projects that we have gone is for Najafargarh Basin. And this is the white paper that has been submitted to the MCG as well. Now, what is... so? Uh, what is it about the Najafargarh Basin? So I'll just take five minutes to take to you as to how we are trying to restore this natural resource that I say. 
So when we talk in terms of Najafargad, Najafargad Jeel was there long time back and this was a huge water body. And now uh, we are countering a severe groundwater depletion. We got uh, water scarcity all know. So how do we try to uh, meet this water demand? So that's why we've got to revive this Najafargad Jeel. So when you look at this Najafargad Jeel that you see out here, so what we are basically saying is when you see the Najafargad Nala, this Najafargad Nala where the Saibi Nadi stops and thereafter this Najafargad drain goes from here and thereafter joins at Yamuna. So now it has been turned into a, uh, most of the sewage and all the STPs and ETPs, all of them flow into this particular Nala and they are the ones which are now flowing into the Yamuna and causing lot of eutrophication and problems there as well. So what we are proposing is, is there a possibility of reviving as far as this particular Jheel is concerned? So that if you have seen last year, we had so much amount of flooding in Gurgaon and there was so much amount of water that people were literally for two days were moving in boats as well. And at the same time during the summer season, we had a huge scarcity of water and there was a drought-like situation where we were trying to get water through the tankers. So are we saying is, can we impound this type of water by constructing this Najafarkar basin so that we are able to store this water out here and this water that we store out here becomes a jeel and we are able to use this water for the drinking purposes as well. And, and besides this, can we also make use of this Najafagar channel into an inland waterway so that we are able to connect this water, inland waterway from here to Delhi? Agar Bangkok ke andar mein, aur jab mein Paris mein jata hoon, in the Seine River, in the Shaw Free, the complete transportation system is based on the canal system. Aur hamare paas mein agar ek canal already hai, we are talking in terms of there is so much amount of congestion on the roads, to hum logon ko alternate agar transportation dekhna hai, to hum ye nadi ka bhi transportation system kyo nahi dekh sakte hai, jo ki itti achhi nadi hai, aur isko hum log Delhi ke saath mein collect kar sakte hai. And at the same time, we will also be able to have lot of water for the drinking and other purposes, which will not only become a social project, but it will also help in uh, uh, looking after the water needs of Gurgaon as well. So this is what on the Delhi side they have already created a bandh. That's why you don't find flooding taking place towards the Delhi side. But towards the Haryana side, that is what we are saying towards Gurgaon. If we are able to create this type of a Najafargarh basin, then we will be able to solve this type of a water problem and we will be able to have this type of a lake. So Abhi one of the problems will come up ki okay, barish ke time mein to yaan paani aa jayega. But garmi ke time ke upar mein jab paani nahi hai, to how the water is going to come? So in that case, when you see aapka, uh, from the Yamuna uh, river, there is a uh, channel number 8. And this channel number 8 is again connecting into Najafargarh channel. So we can draw the water from the Yamuna river also, flow it through this Najafargarh uh, channel and take it back again into the Yamuna and this particular flow can also be there. We just need to create one reservoir at Jatikri which is not a major cost and that is the way that it can be done. So this is the solution that we are uh, saying. Abhi, uh, uh, for your information, we uh, had a complete... Uh, we, got all the, we got all the stakeholders together and pure stakeholders mein isme uh, uh, Shankar ji bhi the, DC the, Commissioner saab the, all the activists of Gurgaon came, uh, aapke environmental minister, secretary from Delhi. We all came together for uh, first time, humne puri ki puri report Delhi or Gurgaon ki puri combined kar di hai. Now nobody can say that data is not available, all data is available, everything is there and it has also got the buy-in of all the people. It becomes a part of the Ganga rejuvenation plan also. So that is what is the plan, that is the way we go about it. इसी तरह से हमने मोबिलिटी के ऊपर में भी किया है हम लोग अभी ग्रीन और ब्लू गुड़गांव के ऊपर में भी कर रहे हैं बिकॉज़ वी बिलीव इन एविडेंस बेस्ड प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड दैट इज द वे वी गो एंड दैट इज हाउ द रिपोर्ट्स हैव कम कॉपी ऑफ दिस आर अवेलेबल आउट हियर एनी वन ऑफ यू वांट अ कॉपी ऑफ दिस रिपोर्ट यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू टेक फ्रॉम अस एंड यू कैन गो सो दैट इज व्हाट आवर प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑल अबाउट थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच